Hello, Gregory. Ah, oh, Jack. Good morning. How Jack, are you? Be nimble. Jack. Jack be splat. Yes. How's it going? All right. We're going to do something interesting today, aren't we? Go on. Do a little bit of a blindfold. Well, no, it's not a blindfold challenge, but as of right now. An inverted blindfold challenge. We are blinded. So <laughs> let me just explain what's going on. Greg and I are both going to demo some Schecter guitars today, but neither of us know which guitars the other has picked. We've kind of done a little bit of a blind spot, uh, just went through our website, picked three guitars each. Hopefully they're different. Hopefully we haven't just picked the same guitars. That would be awkward, wouldn't it? But <laughs> I can tell you now, mine are going to be the best ones. The best ones? Yep. Well, as we all know, that's subjective, but I'll, I'm happy to accept that challenge if that's what, the way you want to do it. So, so which one, are you going to do yours first or mine I think we first? should start here. So these are Greg's picks. <sighs> Cast aside the sheath and let's crack on with here the action. Here we go. Ready? Uh, I, I should do this from this way. Okay, so however, you, ready. however you like. Da, 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 <laughs> da, 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 I hope the guitars are <laughs> as sexy as you make it. Oh, all right. Behold, the finest selection. That is a good selection. Schecters. So, what, Corsair. Yep. On the left. Corsair, the Tempest. Tempest. And the Sun Valley Super Shredder, fully loaded with the Sustainiac uh, in the blue rain finish. Well, I'm really pleased that you picked something with a sustainer for a start. Yeah, I mean, that's I. That's a nice. Yeah. A nice spread. It is a nice spread. I thought, I'd, as you know, I do like a vintage style instrument, but I like to play the kind of more athletic guitar playing. <laughs> um, but and these two are a value for money wise are great yeah. here we're just fully tricked out back comb your hair get out <laughs> your spandex do you ever do that every thursday anymore excellent well it is thursday today so let's let's get into it but okay so that's go and do your fine selection we? right here check this out because right i've gone for a slightly different angle okay but Still well within the bounds of Ready. respectability, okay? Da, 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 da. <laughs> you've gone with the Corsair as well. I did. <laughs> I nice. did. Oh, yeah, you've kind of done a similar thing. Yeah. Slightly retro and then something a bit more... Yeah, well, I was... You know, we're using different amps and I wanted to kind of pick stuff that is going to be appropriate for yeah. the kind of slightly more vintage rig. You've got a little yeah. bit more of a higher gain yeah. thing. Yeah. So, so yeah, this really caught my eye. The Fastback, PT Fastback. Brilliant guitar. With the sort of TV Jones-esque yeah, yeah. pickups. And then anything that's like a flat color with a maple board and zebra pickups. Oh, yeah. I'm always a little bit, get a little bit hot under the collar for. <laughs> so a bit rosy cheeked. Yeah, indeed, <laughs> yeah. So. Yep, yeah, nice, good choice. I mean, I, I've still got the better choice, but good choice. Not bad. Whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> Let's get into the video. Let's sit down, get some tones. And dig in. Let's do it. Well, hello, folks. Jack here from Peach Guitars. Been joined by the wonderful Greg Dunning today. Welcome, Greg. You don't have to say my full name. But would you just prefer Greg. if I just, just keep Greg. it as Greg? <laughs> All right. Well, there's a lot of Gregs here, and I don't want, you know, anyway. Thank you, Jack Griffiths. Welcome, Greg. <laughs> Today, as we, you'll have heard in the introduction, yeah, we're doing some Schecter guitars stuff, and Greg is, Greg Dunning, that is, is a fantastic uh, Schecter aficionado. He knows a lot about the brand. We've actually done a video in the past on the Diamond series, I believe it was. Yeah. Um, where, once again, Greg just had a lot of knowledge of the brand. It was the Van Nuys. That's right. We got pelters That's right, for, the Van Nuys. Van Nuys. That was yeah. way earlier in the year. We felt like it made sense to do a little bit of an end of year uh, yeah. kind of refresher. There's been some new models that have turned up in that time, I believe. And as you saw in the intro, this is really a kind of, a kind of a blind test. We wanted to just really cover as much of the, the brand as possible, but without telling each other what we're going to pick individually. So it's turned out quite well because we've, there's a little bit of crossover, but Yeah, we've kind of gone similar, haven't we? You've gone a bit, you've gone hot modern athletic yeah and you've also gone midlife I don't know. It's <laughs> Balding, kind of, yeah uh, sort of vintage kind of and yeah. i've done the same i've gone kind of obviously i've gone right out there with the, with the um the super shredder yeah but i think they, they cover you think of the check trains they cover so much ground 
like from vintage kind of stuff right through to kind of super well this is i'm glad that it's turned out this way yeah. because it does emphasize that that the brand does cover a lot more than you might think i mean the, the corsair model that you've picked and i've picked as well mm -hmm. i hadn't seen that until yeah. uh, maybe a week or two ago yeah um really really impressive guitar obviously very different than what I would say they're known for. Do you think yeah. that's fair that they're kind of associated with being a bit more of a modern, I yeah. hate to use the word, but the shreddy kind of brand? Well, I don't know if it's even that shreddy. I mean, it, I mean, with the, obviously the super shredders would kind of obviously suggest it is mm. that, but when you think of Jerry Horton with that kind of thing, it's kind of more riffy, right? kind of slightly heavier stuff, but they do. And then, but then you think of Robert Smith from The Cure, with, the, with his, I do often. Yeah, <laughs> with his guitar, and they, there's kind of a lot of kind of the shoegazy kind of cool stuff and the heavy yeah. stuff, but I, get, I always have a bit of beef with it because it's, they do so much more for all of us basically. Anyone that's out there just weekend worrying or on tour around the country, whatever. Mm. There's something in the Schecter range, and I think they, they try a bit harder because. I guess they have to, I don't know, but I just think you get a lot of a lot of bang for your buck, don't you? You do, you do. And I suppose most people don't necessarily think of, you know, they have to keep all their guitars in one family. Yeah. But if you were that way inclined, you can kind of stick within the brand and cover outside Everything. of maybe like a full on jazz box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, there's pretty much yeah. something there for everybody. Now we've got that disclaimer out of the way. Well, it's not really a disclaimer, but that uh, explanation. We're kind of taking slightly different approaches. So Greg's got an orange rocker verb, straight in, yep. like a true guitar player, <laughs> no effect, uh, only a, a bit of reverb maybe yep. on the amp. Um, yep. But you know, Greg's a great uh, legato player and a good riff monster as well. Yeah. So you're going to kind of cover some more of the higher gain things. You're going to cover up your mistakes with your pedals. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I am. Excellent. Well, actually, I'm just going to highlight them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, standard rig for me. So if you've seen any of our stuff before, it's a Dr. Z Maz, King Tone Duelist, Overdrive, and an HX Effects here and there, just yeah. for some delays and stuff. <laughs> So that's what the, the basis of the video is going to be. We're just going to go through each guitar in turn and yeah. talk a little bit about it. Greg knows a lot about them. I mean, I, I know think. as much as... No, I mean, I you know more than I do. I certainly used to. You know more than I do, sir. So where <laughs> so do you want to start? With? I was going to say, let's start with <laughs> you. You want to start here? Yeah, you start with you. Okay. Let's go with the... Uh... Should we start on the end? Yeah. Maybe? I've known about the PT for a little while and I'm, I'm thinking it's it's the Pete Townsend connection. Is that kind yeah, of where the name from comes the, from? Yeah, uh, I think it was from the Live Aid thing. He used a, I think it was a black, or he had a couple. There was like basically a, a, a T-style thing with two humbuckers. That's right, yeah. And uh, it was around the same time people, sort of the early 80s, I think even Malmsteen might have had something on the go then. And I think oh, maybe right. Steve Lukather. Potentially, these okay. are all kind of guys in the and definitely Mark Knopfler. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they were kind of obviously a bit. Uh, they used to make replacement parts, but then I think people bought the parts and put them together as their own own checker because I think they did their own hardware. It was like a proper boutique all thing. All in house. Yeah. yeah. Pickups, yeah. tuner, um, maybe not tuners, but definitely bridges, pickups, bodies, and necks. So it's cool because I think this this is I guess where they kind of started, but it's not necessarily where most people think they've ended up. You know, this isn't the most typical Schecter guitar, no. but it really caught my eye. So what we did was uh, we just both, I think, just trawled through our website, which you'll see on the screen now, there's a whole heap of different guitars, a real wide ranging selection. And we just picked the three that, well, I did anyway, just the, the, the ones that I kind of liked the look of the most and thought would work best with this rig. And this was pretty much number one yeah, for me. So it's really, really good. So it's the PT Fast Back. Yeah. Um, now these pickups obviously are very TV Jones inspired. Are they yeah, sort, sort of Filtertron style proprietary Schecter pickups though? I couldn't tell you, but I can tell you they are sort of medium output, coil tappable, uh, and it's just a mm. really sensible instrument. Well, yes, it doesn't quite have the high end zinginess that a lot of Filtertrons have. It's just kind of more of a humbucker style thing. Yeah. Uh, but we, um, you can check that out on the website or... Um, yeah, all the specs are on the website. So we're not going to go too spec heavy. I think this is just kind of 
an impressions thing. You yeah. Know, what, what the reason I'll tell you the reason I picked these guitars, Greg can do the same. So to me, yeah, this is intriguing because it's very different yeah. than what I expect them to be. So I mean, just give it. I'll show you some. Cycle, time. Yeah, cycle yeah. through some tones and pull some switches and Indeed. make some beautiful music. Well. <laughs> Nice clean sound. Very nice. Uh, it's interesting to play this guitar because the tones are kind of fairly authentically, I won't use the vintage word, but old did. school. That I mean, word is, I just used, I won't use it. No, it's fair to say it's kind of a, a vintage inspired. But the playing thing. experience is different because yeah. the neck is very, it's not a super thin neck, but yeah. it's quite shallow, very flat feeling radius as Yeah, well. I guess we'd have to double Big check, frets. but I guess 14, most of them seem to be sort of 14 or 12 inch radius. Certainly, the kind of more, I suppose, through neck short scale inspired instruments okay. Are, okay. are, I think, a 12 inch Tell radius. Yeah. But this, I guess, would be a 14. But it's just quite an interesting, I mean, it's kind of a cliche, isn't it, of like modern playability. So irons out the bumps, tone. doesn't it? But yeah, very None easy of the to play. Pitfalls. Very easy to play indeed. I'll just put on a little bit of gain and we'll see. You're going to do some heavy metal? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that, Gregory. I'm going to play some classic rock. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> delivers on that. It does. Should we stick with the gold theme? Yeah, go for it, yeah. Solid gold. <laughs> so. So what's well these what's this all about? This is obviously a semi hollow styly 335 yeah. kind of thing with a bit of kind of uh gretchiness on the back I suppose but the the, the Schecter Vibrata vibrato vibrola trem basically it was to me it was really eye-catching this guitar yeah because i'd never seen them do anything like this before i know i think the robert smith model is kind of no similar -ish, uh, maybe they, they certainly did they did the ultra cure which was like the big bodied but that was a solid lump of wood oh right okay and but don't worry it was really heavy um right. <laughs> it, it's um they this is just obviously like a take on their take on the kind of the kind of Gibson style yep. thing. So shorter scale? Yep, short scale, and it's got the Diamond 78 pickups, which I guess are just like a hot, hotish path kind of thing. Right. Uh, fully coil tapped as well, and um, shall I just shut up and play it so we can hear it? Well, you don't have to shut up, but play. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs>
the coil taps nice. actually, yeah, it's quite open. Very sounding. effective. Sometimes yeah. it's very subtle, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, you can with the vibratos, or you can. <laughs> give it some serious stick and it's it's really stable yeah mahogany mahogany standard kind of g style flavors mm. but what's the s flavor about with it do you think what what have they input into this that makes it their own i mean it's it's a really tricky thing to kind of put your finger on it it's just they've ironed stuff out and I don't really know what it is. This is mm. the, the C-shaped neck is a little bit more manageable, I suppose. Similar sort of thing with the flatter radius. Yep, yep. Flatter radius. We'd have to double check the specs, but I believe it's a 12-inch radius. Yeah. Which would make sense. And the uh, the 78 style sort of hot path things. Good coil tap. It's just great value. Yeah. Check the price yeah. on the website. Indeed, indeed. And I really like the headstock design as well. Yeah. Because it's kind of it works on the on the more modern looking guitars in a more aggressive way, but it works on this in kind of like a 50s Cadillac yeah. style, almost like a Gretschy headstock. Yeah, it? and did, have you seen the, uh, they, they actually link up with another popular brand, you can put, it's like a jigsaw. Oh, if you no, put, I haven't seen that. Yeah, you put a Gibson uh, on it. it. Oh, that's a little bit it's of a- cheeky. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky indeed. Cheeky. cheeky boys, okay, well. Let's move on, shall that's we? That's really nice. Well, before we move on entirely, I want to just touch on the exact same guitar, but okay. Show, but one that show hasn't been it. painted. This only has not been back. painted. Only no, the so back. You'd be forgiven for thinking this is cheaper because it hasn't been painted. But um, <laughs> same price, I'm afraid. So yeah, I'm just curious to see sort of through this rig. Um, yeah. If yeah, I asked you all those questions and I could have just figured it out for myself. By yeah, you got one. Playing this guitar. Check it out yourself, mate. You do it. I will. I will from now on, no more questions. <laughs> So yeah, same thing, same exact guitar. Just there's a few different finishes. There's also a black one which I saw that was really nice, like a real stealthy black. Yeah. Zebra pickups, I think. Yes. Um, which are was the it same satin pickups. finish? Uh, the custom? I'm not sure. No. I'm not sure. Because they do the custom as well, which is a flamey top satin finish, and that has the <laughs> USA pickups in it, the Pasadenas. Oh right. Okay. Well, even more options there. Yeah, the website. But, <laughs> yeah. Everything will be there. But anyway, here's the exact same guitar Greg was just playing through a different amp. I mean, really cool. for, for the money that these cost, I've never played another of that style of instrument that responds like that. Mm. There's other guitars that do a little bit more of a vintage thing, yeah. Uh, but covers a lot of ground. That yeah. is a rocker. I mean, it gets yeah. into the jazzy cut. You know, yeah, to yeah. Coin a, a cliche, yeah. but it does nice cleans. But it really wants to. But it, it wants to rock. It's kind of there's. It's just good. It's great quality as well for the money, and it's. Um, when you look closely at these things, I mean, obviously with a lot of guitars, you can see little bits and bobs that are perhaps not super perfect because guitars aren't perfect anyway. But these, I think for the money, they just, they, I, for me, I yeah. think they exceed it's hard a to lot of expectations. Pick, actually. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. All right, so let's... Uh, Shall I pick up the white on. one? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. The Tempest is something that they've been doing for a long time now. And I just, it caught my eye. Well, it always catches my eye because... It's a unique take on that kind of through neck mm -hmm. 
two humbucker tunematic theme yeah so you've got the double cutaway yeah and it's just it's just a cool guitar and it's really well balanced you know it's just it's it's good looking it's shape. good it and it's pretty tricked out you've got the pasadenas on here which are usa handwound pickups coil taps uh independent volumes so you can do your nice. up, 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 up. that's the thing yeah it is and a thing. <laughs> didn't know that's what it's called also but. got yeah up, 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 up. locking machine heads as well so it is pretty tricked. jumbo frets so it is a bit of a, a bit of a beast, mm. uh, and again, um, twenty-four and three-quarter scale length. Okay, nice. and a radius that's in the teens. Just put your put me on. Were you on half or full? Uh, full. <laughs> That's excellent. Bags of clarity, slightly skinnier body. Maybe that lends itself to that. I think maybe. Okay. So it's quite. There's no mush in there, is there? Yeah. There's no mush. But again, brilliant value. Yeah. Super slick. Much cheapness. Well, I just think it's and one of those. Again, it's a solid package, but it's got something a little bit different. And I like that they're not trying to copy anything. I know you've got certain reference points, like you talked about at the start, that it's sort of, uh, you know. It was heavily inspired, isn't inspired it? Inspired by, yeah. yeah, but it's not. Yeah. To look at, that's nothing, nothing else comes to mind, really, that you could compare it to visually. Tonally, I think they've got their own thing going as well. Yeah. Um, that's a really nice sounding pickup as well. Is that the Pasad Pasadena? Pasadena. Yeah, USA custom pickups. Nice. Uh, it's just tricked out. And I just think, again, it's another model that gives you... It's classy. Versatility, classy. Yeah. Excellent. Beautiful white guitar. Well, that's very nice. I'm, so I'm going to move on to my last pick. Ooh. Which, I don't know, maybe you, maybe you didn't quite expect that I'd pick something No, like I, really, I really didn't expect that. Oh, hang on. But, as I said in the intro there, um, any of these, like... F You're right. <laughs> okay. Any of these uh, flat-coloured... But I think this is sea foam, isn't it? Yeah. Th these kind of, you know, I love those hot, those original hot rod yeah. guitars where they've obviously taken a classic uh, yeah. Fender or West whatever Coast and, style and, and committed horrible acts upon it it's by not, putting humbuckers. There's nothing to be ashamed about on that guitar. Well, it's not. It's not nowadays. You know, it's acceptable no. now, yeah. of course. Um, times have changed. But back then, to put a Floyd Rose in, yeah. these are EMG pickups. Yeah. I love that. It's naughty. Yeah. It feels naughty, this guitar, in a way. Um, I know it's not, but to me, it's a little bit of a... Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is the uh, another PT. So, same as the same model as the Fastback, but totally different. Yeah, so it's the same shape, uh, but it's in the, uh, the Super Shredder family. Yeah, I think... Yeah, it looks like it might be a tiny bit of a thicker body, but I don't think it is. Uh, it might be just a trick of the light. Trick of my mind, but... Um, so I'll show you some flat, flatter radius. So yeah. this is geared up for your, your kind of. I'm going to put my distortion pedal on Ooh. for this guitar and see what happens. Both distortions. Yeah. <gasps> Let's see what happens. Yeah, cover those ears. <laughs>
it cleans think? up really well. It actually well. does, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think... You I couldn't think keep going, could you? You had to go tasteful. No, it's always <laughs> disgusting. Um, but I think these are the um, like slightly more vintage yeah. voiced EMG I pickups. I think they may be the hot 70s. Oh, okay. Which are that kind of, I suppose well, it fits in with that era. Yeah, of really like nice. kind of modified... Yeah, articulate nice pickups and EMG gets a very bad rap for not being it's a different time now, isn't it? But they actually, you know, turn the game pedal off here, and as an example, just a really nice clean. Uh, you know, volumes are full. It's a nice, you know, dynamic clean. It didn't feel yeah. like I was sort of, um, the guitar was constantly wanting to just roar into yeah. breaking up. So, and really comfortable again to play. Unfinished uh, yeah. neck. Feels nice. a lot more expensive than yeah. it is. They all, this is the thing, they, I think they all do. Regardless of the price ticket, I think you, yeah. you, they kind of feel, some of them feel like they're the next price bracket above. Yeah. So yeah. they're kind of more affordable stuff like the, um, even the Little Omen Extremes and the right. uh, Banshee series was great as well. It's just all... So, I mean, all these guitars are in relatively the same price yeah. bracket, aren't they? They're all sort of around about £1,000. Up to. Up yeah. to, yeah, no Definitely. more than. Yeah. Um, sorry, you were going to point something out? Uh, the heel yeah. as well, yeah, and that is heel. a nice touch. Sort of sculpted, sculpted heel, neck. so if you can get your... When you're doing your high, fast guitar playing. Yeah, I slow you... down as soon as I get up there. <laughs> I just say, whoa! I just think put the brakes on. Wobble but... your fingers around and aim for the boxes. But yeah, yeah. But it's great. Really it, comfy. it irons out. It takes out the the obstructions, doesn't it? And you can just get there nice and yeah. easy. And it's just a, a proper player's guitar. And you know, a lot of these, a lot of this kind of instrument, I find, is great for the single note, yeah, fast playing stuff. Not so great for chords, and you struggle to to get traction. I think when you're trying to get vibrato on chords and stuff, this is kind of the happy medium. Yeah. Again, I don't know exactly what the radius is and all That'll that be a stuff, 14 on that one. Okay. But the, uh, and the, but the neck, I think it's the meat on the neck, there's enough there to hold on to. Isn't yeah. it? It's not like a super wizardy style skinny no, no. neck. It's kind of got a bit of meat to it. And I think the nut wits are quite nice and comfy. I think they seem to go, they move around between, I think that one is like, it might even be less than 42 mil nut. That I believe is probably a 42. But yeah. they're just nice and narrow, but just super comfortable to play. Very nice indeed. So you alluded to a particular guitar. Let's, let's move on to your final pick. Yes, which I, uh, as you know, I'm not one for switches, <laughs> but this is the Sun Valley Super Shredder in Blue Rain. I don't know if you can kind of get an idea of that finish, but it's like, it kind of looks like- it's very cool. Like velvet, isn't it? Yeah. Really bizarre yeah. kind of blue velvet. It's like all the crushed velvet I have in my house and <laughs> car. I'll pop the amp back on. Yeah, okay. So. So what is this model, sorry? I think this is the Sun Valley that. Super Shredder okay. and uh, in Blue Rain. It's a, quite a new model. Uh, yeah. This is the, the thing, that, the nice thing about these, and a lot of the, across the range really, the, with their Floyds, they use the 1500 Floyds. Uh, so you've got the stainless steel working parts where you kind of, they won't, the bits that are going to get a lot of the wear and tear, they're going to be there for a long, durable, long time. Yeah. Really durable. So it's a really nice touch. Uh, it's got the sustainer, the Sustainiac pickup yeah. on it, which is, uh, you can, th three different modes, you've got, uh, well, two, harmonic, the kind of, the regular sustainer, and then you've got the mix in the middle. Okay. Uh, and then just the on-off switch there. Show us. Shall I, no, Show I'll, us what it sounds like. This, this is going to be, here we go. <laughs>
Has you didn't turn the sustainer <gasps> on though. Uh, it's all yeah. my fingers. Yeah, but it's. I mean, that, I was being a bit silly there, just a little bit. That is but it, awesome. Though. Yeah, but even the neck pickup as well. Sorry, just to get. <laughs> It does do Brilliant. sort of normal stuff as well, but it is it always an, has out, quite, an out. Yeah, they always have quite a, a particular sound to them that sustain the pickups. I think, yeah, in the neck and the neck's kind of quacky. It's a, yeah, a bit single coily. It's a nice sounding. Yeah. It's kind of like the um, '80s Satriani tone. You know, he's using like the the Fred pickup. I think it was. Yeah. And that very distinct, very articulate tone. Yeah. Um, but it is obviously. It's not for the, the faint-hearted. It is built for one thing, and it's just... Uh, I mean, it is a pure fun machine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, there are certainly more expensive ways to have that much fun. Oh, it's super tricked out, again, for the for the, for the the price bracket. Two batteries? Two batteries, yeah, 18 volt. So one so, oh, 18 volt, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, the either sustainer and the, pick, the gotcha, PMGs. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, nice. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else you can say about it. It's super contoured heel. It's Again, similar kind of... Specs are boring, brother. Specs Keep are it, boring. You it's know, just, when it yeah. sounds like I mean, that... it is, yeah. It's awesome. So, yeah. If you, too, would like to have that much fun, oh, then so good. click the link in the description below. All of these guitars will be linked to our website. And as I said, there's also a massive inventory of Schecter stuff. Check them out. That we haven't covered here. So, check out the full range. But I think this does kind of surmise everything that they do in a roundabout way, uh, apart from we haven't touched on... Is Actually, we haven't touched on about 80% of We've scratched the surface, haven't we? But yeah. There's, there's I mean, multi-scale, seven-string, eight-string oh, bases. Yeah. And then the custom shop stuff with the stabilised top things that mm. we've got as well. Yeah. And it's just, and it's all great, great value for money. Even though they are quite a premium, you know, they go right up price bracket-wise, but you still get Yeah, I don't think you, get, money. you have to sort of convince yourself too much no. to have a little bit of a, a spend on something yes. like this. So, um so that if that's you and you're interested, yeah, hit the website. The link's down in the description. But thank you very much, as always, for watching, folks. Really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And if you have, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below with your thoughts on the nonsense that we have uh, chatted about and also just what you think about the brand, Schecter in general. And if you want to see more of this kind of thing, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you ring the bell so you're notified when we post videos in the future. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining, Greg. It's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Has, it has been yeah, fun. Indeed. Thank you, thank you very much for letting me out of the office. Pleasure. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.